a major disappointment I have in the bill, uh, uh, again, as I point out, is we didn't do enough on cost control. And the main thing I would have wanted is a timeline for shifting off most payments off fee-for-service. Because now we have doctors and hospitals and other providers in two worlds. One world is we're paying you fee-for-service, which means you know, to make more money, you have to do more things, and you, you, know, you don't get paid if you don't do. And the other world is you know, we're going to give you a set amount of money in some form or another, and you're going to keep people healthy. And the difference between what we would have paid and what you're doing delivering the care for, that is a margin that will split or you'll get or however it's. It's very hard to negotiate. The, the, the incentive structures are different. Those two worlds are really incompatible, and we don't have enough of the second. Um, and when people say, we got a sick care system, of course we've got a sick care system. We pay doctors to take care of sick people. They wait for people to get sick because they don't get paid to keep them healthy. If you pay them to keep them healthy, you will get a very different set of behaviors. And by the way, places that have worked under those different set of incentives do a much better job about keeping people healthy. I just got off the phone uh, while I was waiting in line to take the train up from Philly. I was on the line with a guy in M Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, who runs a printing business, and as a sideline in 1991, because his health care costs were going up, he created an on-site clinic and an on-site wellness program. Well, now part of his business is no longer just printing. He's marketing his health program because he has an on-site primary care clinic that he can do for much cheaper. And why is it? It's hugely desirable. The average time that a patient, uh, one of his workers spends with a primary care doc, 25 minutes, right? Lots of tests. You don't have to leave work site to get your health care. How long is your wait before your 25-minute visit? Less than five minutes. All the electronic record. Now he's provided, he's provided this kind of health service to other companies. And uh, you can go to the facility. If you live near the facility of another country, you can go to that facility. So he's getting into the health care business. His price now is about 25%. Over two decades, it's gotten to be about 25% cheaper than because he's got better primary care, trying to keep people healthy, he's got a big incentive because he's paying the bill. So I think we need to change the incentives. So one of the problems I have with the Affordable Care Act is we didn't do enough to change those incentives. Nonetheless, I believe over time that change is going to come into place. Why? Well, if you look at the exchange, when people go into the exchange and compare, they tend to buy on premium and price, and they want a low price. How do you deliver a low price? Well, you can cut, 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 but for the long term, the way you have to target people who are high cost users, and you have to get in and reshape how you deliver care. And one of the ways of reshaping it is by changing how you're gonna pay. So I see that as a long term mm -hmm. trend. Okay. Again, one of the things the Affordable Care Act did is I think it's changed the incentives. So going forward, won't happen overnight, but over the next decade, we're gonna have a big change in how care is delivered, where care is delivered, and a much more emphasis on efficiency, <coughs> value, making sure that the care we deliver is really high quality and low cost. And there's lots of things we can do about that. Taking certain kinds of patients, instead of putting them into the hospital for treatment, putting them at home. They recover faster, you actually have higher quality care, and you save about 20% on a lot of those patients. Why should you go to the hospital to get your blood test? You're gonna be able to go to Walgreens, or CVS, they're going to have mini clinics. Someone just told me about a, uh, there's a, a county west of Chicago that had a very low mammogram rate. So local hospital teamed up with a major department store in a mall, put in a mammogram unit right in the lingerie section. <laughs> <laughs> Rates went up, and women spent a lot more money at the store. Everyone That's was a winner. A win -win. Everyone, That's a win-win. Win-win-win. 